हेलो अमन वेलकम टू पार्ट फाइव ऑफ लारावल इंटरव्यू सीरीज ऑफ एडिशन टू जीरो टू फोर टू फाइव सो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विद प्रैक्टिकल इन दिस वीडियो एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर ऑल दिस इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट आर हैविंग द चांसिस ऑफ फोर आउट ऑफ फाइव सो द इंटरव्यूअर मे आस्क वन ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन so the chances are really bright so watch this very carefully so these are really important questions that we are going to see right now so let's see the first question okay so uh so first question is what are environmental so sorry what are environment variables and how to define in laravel so see the environment variables we are going to, uh, we are using in laravel applications a lot and uh, let's see its answer first of all and the environment variables are global variables that we define at one place and can be used anywhere in the web application so these environment variables just we are required to define at one place and we can use in anywhere in the web application in the laravel application or website we can use them anywhere so what is the big advantage that we need to define at one place and that is the place in laravel these variables are defined in the dot env file in the project directory so at root uh, we all know that we have the dot env file where we have the database connection as well where we have the mail connection as well where we can define the another environment or variables as well those uh, environment variables are used globally in the entire website so let's see the examples here like app name app underscore name db underscore database mail underscore host these are the environment variables that we are using in the laravel applications and that we can use in the entire applications okay so we used these environment variables in almost in every website it is not possible that without these environment variables we can uh, run the laravel web website because we require the connection for all dynamic websites we require the connection uh, we require the emails as well, uh, well and another things as well that we all define in the environment variables okay so uh, we will practically define environment variables and call them in our laravel project see all the time we have done this one i'm going to show you this as well uh, like i'm going to open the one of my laravel 10 project laravel 10 e-commerce project i open and here in the dot env file that is located at the root uh, root okay uh, that uh, uh, located at the root of the project okay so you can see uh, this is the dot env file here uh, we have done this connection see this one is the offline connection right now and its project name see database that is the project 10 all these variables are the environment variables see app name app name here like uh, in example i have shown you app name this is the environment variable this db database this is the environment variable see all are the environment variables that we are using and some of the environment variables we used in the uh, other pages as well in our laravel application as well okay uh, so i'm going to show you like uh, some of the environment variables that we use like if i will open the database.php file so there is the file here we are using this db connection and db connection and here uh, must be here also i'm going to check here see db connection is this one and this environment variable we are using in database.php file this is the system generator laravel file means laravel generator by default this file is there where it's already there db connection and but that connection comes from here okay and you can see the db database as well see the mongodb series we have created the new connection and we have generated the we have uh, then uh, see the make changes in the environment variables as well if you will see the mongodb where we have not used the mysql where we have used the mongodb okay so in that we have made the changes here only we have made the changes here only in the connection only and that will happen in the internal file so we are not required to go anywhere just we will make the change here in the same way like we are sending the mail then we are just required to make the changes here only 
we are not required to go in any php page in any laravel page and required to manually change the setting for every email that is really complicated task if you are going to update the email setting by going there in that particular page in that particular email page that is not possible so we can define here only whatever the mail setting we are going to do here only we will uh, uh, do all settings and that will work for entire website okay so those are the environment variables that we are using in laravel that we can define in one page dot env file and can use anywhere in the website so uh, so let's see the next question how to put the laravel website in maintenance mode so many a times we require to put the laravel website in maintenance mode so at that time what we can do we can simply execute the addition uh, addition query let's see its answer first of all okay so laravel website can be put into maintenance mode with below addition command php addition down so this is the query that we are required to run to uh, to make the website under maintenance so i am going to show you as well like i am going to run my project now laravel 10 project straight away i am going to run my laravel 10 or laravel 11 project so uh, i'm going to run my laravel 10 project okay uh, services new terminal at folder see what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to run this project okay uh, php artisan serve make sure that your zamp or vamp uh, your apache server must be running okay so uh, yeah now it is running so now i'm going to open here and here see uh, my laravel 10 project uh, will work fine laravel e-commerce 10 project okay so now it is working so suppose uh, i want to make some changes internally so i want to make the project under maintenance mode so uh, one query i'm going to run here php rt sorry here php artisan and what is the query down okay php artisan down okay so i will just run this one and see application is now in maintenance mode and let's see i'm going to refresh this one and see 503 service unavailable so it is showing 503 service unavailable so it means that the website is under maintenance so like this you can put your website under maintenance okay with this artisan command php artisan down okay so there is one more command and once the maintenance is done and after that do you want to make your website live and then uh, there is the command php artisan up so you are required to run the command php artisan up okay so you will run this command and your website is back uh, from the maintenance to the live mode see i'm going to refresh it now and you are going to see the website is back now okay so see the website is back now so the interviewer may ask you that how you can put the website in maintenance mode what is the artisan command which command you are going to run for putting the website in maintenance mode so at that time you just require to answer php artisan down command uh, helps to make the website laravel website under maintenance mode okay and which website uh, that can make the website back in live mode from maintenance and that is the php artisan up command so let's see the next question so yeah we have done the practically this thing as well like i have shown you so let's see the next question what is the migration in laravel and how to create it see in almost all the series whether it is the e-commerce series multi-vendor series rect series okay and also in mongodb and in laravel 11 series as well uh, in almost every series we have used the we have created the tables with the help of migration so migration helps to create the tables okay in our laravel application suppose if there is no php my admin there is no uh, mysql uh, that uh, sql front or other applications then uh, at that time uh, these migration commands will help us to create the table not only create the table but also update the table we can also update the table create the table uh, delete the table uh, see make changes in table alter the table and also we can roll back the tables if we have made some mistakes then we can roll back as well so this is the advantage of the laravel migrations and i'm going to show you its uh, answer uh, okay so let's see 
Laravel migration provides us the mechanism for creating and modifying database tables without going to the database manager such as the php my admin or sqlite okay so like i have explained you earlier that you can uh, easily create and modify the database tables uh, with the help of this migration and uh, if there is no spot for php my admin or sqlite then it's a big advantage of using the laravel migration okay so laravel migrations allow us to add or delete the columns in the data tables so we can easily add or delete the columns in our tables as well with the help of these laravel migration okay and laravel migration provide the ability to perform version control to database so that we can revert back to previous version when required so we can roll back the changes as well like i have explained earlier uh, so that is also available in laravel migration so that is the big advantage okay so example is we can use below artisan command to create migration file for creating products table see this is the command that we can create the products table php artisan make migration create products table so it will create the migration file uh, where we will add all the required columns then we will run the php artisan migrate command to create this uh, uh, products table okay so i'm going to show you as well okay i will show you practically see like in this uh, uh, laravel 10 series in this e-commerce website series uh, we have created the table we first uh, uh, see, run this command for creating the migration file this command like php artisan make migration create products table and this uh, creates this migration file and here we have added all the columns all the required columns that we want in products table after men after mentioning all the uh, all the uh, after adding all the columns here in this file then we simply run the php artisan migrate command and this table automatically gets generated with all the required columns okay in the in our database okay so this is the advantage of the migration in laravel okay so uh, in the same way we can also update and alter the table we can add the columns uh, to our tables okay so this is the main advantage of the migration in laravel so let's see the next question so what is cedar in laravel and how to create it see like migration we have also used the cedar in almost in entire laravel series right from laravel 5 to laravel 6 laravel 7 laravel 8 laravel 9 laravel 10 laravel 11 in almost all the series we have used the cedar for adding the data in our tables okay so let's see its proper definition cedar in laravel is used to insert data in the database tables automatically after running the migration commands to create the tables we can run the cedar commands to put data in the database tables like i have explained you first we always use the migration command to create the tables and after the table when the tables get created then we put the data in those tables dummy data in those tables with the help of the cedar command so cedar always helps to insert the data in the database table okay uh, so let's see its example as well we can use below artisan command to create cedar file for inserting products in the products table so this is the command that helps to uh, add the data into the products table php artisan make cedar products table cedar see first we will create this file products table cedar and after creating this uh, file uh, we will uh, add some query uh, so that query will help us to uh, whenever we will run that uh, and that will help us to add the data into the products table so i'm going to show you okay practically suppose uh, like uh, uh, we have run this command php artisan make cedar products table cedar see after creating the table then we run this command php artisan make cedar products table cedar then this will create the file products table cedar here see this file has been created and here we have added few records see two entries we have added with all the data in the required columns see these two entries we have added and after that uh, we will call this products table cedar in the database cedar as well here we have called this one uh, like products table cedar see we have called it now we have disabled but at that time we have called it okay so see we will just simply enable this one and disable all okay uh, and after that we will run the command php artisan db seed so that will 
a, uh, with that we can able to add these two dummy records in our products table okay so this one uh, we have always used practically we have always added data uh, in our laravel website okay uh, so you can follow any of the series you can follow the latest series in almost in all the videos and i will uh, give you the links as well uh, in that uh, in the video description so that you can go there and we'll check that how we have run the cedar commands uh, to uh, to add the data into the tables okay so i hope that it's clear to you so let's see the next question so it's all over uh, so these are the uh, interview question very important interview question that is having the rating four out of five so any of these questions the interviewer can ask so uh, prepare yourself accordingly so we are going to do more important question in the next video with practical so don't stop continue watching it uh, it will surely help you to the crack the laravel interview so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye